Today's bidding program came out yesterday. I'm currently at 165 stars. I will be finishing this live on Twitch later tonight. So come hang out on Twitch. Twitch drops are enabled. You can get yourself some free packs. 17 hidden packs in this conquest map and then all the packs that you get for completing it. If you want to see what I pulled out of those packs and they were eat, stick around to the end of the video. I have the clip from Twitch. The eighth inning showdown. Let's go. 500 subs to enter. Clayton Kershaw, of course, the pitcher from the eighth inning pack is going to be the final boss that you face. There are two mini bosses, one right before the final boss that gives you Two diamond batters, a diamond perk, two ball and as a habit packs, a thousand stubs and 2000 XP. I like that addition to this showdown a lot. In total, there are one, two, three, four, five, ten moments, two bosses, and then the Clayton Kershaw final boss. So make sure you are drafting to hit Kershaw in the end. We're gonna find out in this video who the mini bosses are. I think that they are maybe the future stars pitchers that are in the henchman pack. But overall, you wanna make sure you have guys who hit lefties for that final boss against Kershaw. Just know that you're probably gonna face a righty in the mini bosses. So let's hop in a draft and see how it looks in the first round. This one's easy. Easy first round. Gotta go with Ty Cobb. Listen, don't get me wrong. I know it's gonna be lefty lefty on Kershaw, but that speed and the lineup and the high contact, I'm just looking for guys to get on in those final showdown. Ty Cobb's the kind of guy that I wanna get on base in a final showdown, especially a sweaty one. I'm gonna take him over Pudge. Next round is the diamond round, and right there the other Pudge pops up, but here's another reason why I didn't want to take Pudge. Sean Murphy is one of the henchmen, and I actually really want to try this card out, so I'm going to use him 96-80 versus left. Now this is not a very good gold round. I'm going to take O'Neal Cruz. He's got a very glitchy swing, but going to be lefty-lefty on Kershaw. He'll help with the uh, mini bosses throughout the run, though, because he does smash righties. Another Joey Gallo hits lefties better than righties statistically, but it's another lefty stick that we're gonna take, of course. We're just getting loaded up with lefties in this draft. All right, next round to silver round. We got our creative player swing, Mark Canna. Will Smith has an inverted catcher who actually hits righties better than lefties. I'm gonna take Mark Canna. This player probably doesn't stay on the team once I play all the mini moments anyway. Mark Hanna. Next round, we got a silver round. Starlin Castro's plus 16 against lefties, and he already has like a pretty glitchy swing in the game. I could take Jock Peterson, who would be a huge help in those uh, mini boss rounds, but I think we got enough lefties at this point. So I think I'd rather take Starlin Castro, someone who can help us against Kershaw. Howie Kendrick is plus 16 lefty lefty today. That's a good ad. And now this one's easy for me. Matt Kemp just destroys left-handed pitching. He's one of my favorite swings in the game. If he pops up for you in this diamond round, there's not many other cards that I'm picking over him. Matt Kemp it is. Let's take Justin Upton here, just to get some pop. Lifeline as our gold perk. Lineup out of the gate's gonna be Cobb, Kendrick, Kemp, Cruz, Murphy, Gallo, Canna, Castro. That's a very, very good starter squad in showdown. I could honestly skip to the end with that. We're gonna play through the moments though for the sake of the video. Ty Cobb was one of the best hitters baseball has ever seen. Cobb hit over 320 in 20 consecutive seasons. Tally two hits without giving up two hits in two innings. So we just gotta get two hits in the first inning and we're good. Oh no! I actually have to pitch a half inning. This is the kind of moment where usually I would honestly quit out. I don't, I'm not worried about the one run, just to save time. Murph, there it is. We're done. All we got were perks for that first one with your showdown squad. Recreate Puts' big league debut stat line by tallying one hit and one run and one inning. Get through there, let's go! Sweaty palms against the CPU. Adam Duvall. He's got good lefty stats and he's boosted against righties right now. But I think I'm gonna go Max Muncy. Even if he's, you know, not on the lineup for Kershaw, he'll be helpful the rest of the way. Not gonna change the lineup though, but both of those guys will be on our bench now. Third moment is for one run, 275 subs, 475 XP, a silver player and a silver perk. It is a one run game in the bottom of the ninth and facing the Tigers lineup of Cobb, K-Line, and Miguel Cabrera. Close out the game, don't blow the save. Let's get it. Make a play. Nice. One down. Beautiful. Start! Another silver player we get to add to the squad. And I think I'm gonna take, um, let's do Otani, specifically for those henchmen. Contact boost on inside pitches with runners on base, sure. Not gonna use any of the ones that were there. otani son. Still the same lineup though. Next moment for one run and the same stubs, XP, a silver player and a silver perk. With your showdown squad, win a game in the eighth inning without giving up a run. 
deal. Six outs, let's do it. I'm gonna be honest, this is one of those moments right here. It's a two inning moment. All you're getting is the silver player in one run. You don't have to do this one. You can skip this one to save time. You know, if you're someone who doesn't feel like you need 13 or 14 runs to beat the final boss. Ace not for Ty Cobb. You know what? No, I I'm skipping this. I'm gonna do this as real as I would do it. But if you're someone who feels like you need the runs, go ahead and grind that those two innings out. But for me, I'm gonna save 10, maybe even 15 minutes here. Next moment, facing Anderson with your showdown squad, tally one hit without striking out in one inning. All right, so we just gotta get a hit before we strike out against Ian Anderson, should be pretty easy. And remember, it's those mini bosses, the big red squares, those are the only moments that if you lose, it ruins your whole run and you have to start over. You can lose any of these little blue moments throughout the run, you just can't lose to the bosses. So if you wanna skip one from time to time to save yourself time, that's the biggest tip I can give you in this mode. Bang! First pitch swinging Ty Cobb. I'm not even gonna try and get two. That's a single. We're done moving on. Those are the moments I like the most. Silver round, Victor Reyes plus 16 against righties. Why not get another goon for right handed pitching in case we need it? No one there is gonna light up Kershaw. Might as well get something that can help us along the way. In this elimination showdown, take on the Pirates future star pitcher Mitch Keller. Enter the game in a 3 0 count with the bases loaded and fight your way back from a two run deficit before recording eight outs. Let's load this lineup up. Cobb, uh, Muncy, Kemp, Gallo, Cruz, Reyes, Otani, and Murphy is how we're gonna do this. I have no idea what part of the lineup it's gonna start us in, so I wanted to really load it up with the lefties. We also get a gold batter, 1300 XP, 600 subs for completing this. It's on veteran difficulty. All right, Mitch, let's see what you got. YOLO. YOLO! That'll do. That'll do! We were just waiting for the hanging curveball. We're done, out of here, moving on. Gold batter on the squad here. Probably have to go Justin Turner. He's so good against lefties, but Andrew Jones, 91-92. I'm actually gonna do Andrew Jones. Next up, we get two runs, 375 subs, 675 XP, a gold batter and a gold perk. With your showdown squad tally, four total bases in two innings without giving up two runs. So really just one homer, two doubles, four singles, whatever. We can do that in the top of the inning. Don't have to pitch the bottom half. That would be ideal. Andrew Jones in the gap. There's two. We do that one more time, we're done. Bang! Good night! Old player that I'm gonna pick up here. Um, I love Chipper Swing, but that card's really just for righties. We don't need any more righty killers. I'll take Justin Turner. Next up, with your showdown squad starting pitcher, strike out the first batter you face. Well, at least we know it's a one at bat moment no matter what happens, but this is a totally random two runs here. It's Bill Mazarowski versus David Peterson. Woo. Have a good starter if you want to get this one done. Well, swing in first pitch and we lose. Next up, we get a diamond perk, gold batter, two runs, 900 XP, 475 stubs. With your showdown squad tally, two runs and two hits without giving up two runs. Two hits, two runs. Well, there's one hit, one run. Let's do this in one inning. Well, we're done. <laughs> he's unbelievable in this game. For the final boss as of right now, Corey Seager pops up. He's plus 13 against righties. Are you kidding me? Diamond perk. I'm just going to go ahead and load up on clear for takeoff. Next moment, facing Kershaw with your showdown squad tally one run in one inning. All right, so we have to score one run. Let's put the righties in the lineup. We'll go Cobb, Kemp, Jones, Murphy, Kendrick, Canna. This is for a diamond hitter and two runs. Let's get it. It's where they really start ramping up how much you get back in these showdowns or these back end moments. That's why I like playing these through. It's the easiest way to level up and get free stuff. Man, he does it again! He does it again! He's gonna crush Kershaw on the final boss too. I'm excited. Boom, that puts us at 10 runs now for the final boss and our diamond player. Oh, oh. Um, I'm gonna take Fred McGriff. We'll probably use him against that second mini boss. With your showdown squad, tally three hits, including a home run without giving up two runs in the first three innings. So hopefully I can get it done at the top of the first inning. And then we got our next mini boss before the final showdown and we're all done the eighth inning showdown. Face not to lead it off, Mike Miner on the mound. Matty, please go. I'm begging you. Yes, we need one hit. We get this extra stuff. I'm pumped. Smoked. 
and down. We are done. Let's go get after this second mini boss. That puts us at 12 runs now. We get an extra diamond player, which I'm gonna go ahead and take Miguel Cabrera. Easy choice, actually. Diamond Heart Attack, my favorite perk in the game. So we'll add that for the gold clear for takeoff. Enter the game in with two runners on and fight your way back from a four run deficit before recording 13 outs. Are you kidding me? That's it? There's two runners on, we gotta score four. We get a two diamond batters, a diamond perk, two bonus, a habit packs, 2,000 XP and 1,000 stubs. Let's go, let's load this lineup up for lefties. Cobb, Kemp, McGriff, Seeger, Gallo, Cabrera, Muncy and Cruz. Let's light up Ian Anderson. So you start this with runners on the corners and your tool hole is up. Matt Kemp smokes one on the left side. We're lucky that wasn't a hard hit double play ball. I'll take it. That's not good. Oh, it got by. We're gonna go first to third too. That looks like it's gonna be a three run bomb the other way. That's just patting it Miguel Cabrera right there. I was under that ball and a little late, but he just pokes it over the fence the other way. Unreal. Just a little flick of the wrist from Miggy, righty, righty. All right, moving on to the final ball. So let's see who these diamond players are that we're gonna pick up. Ooh, Cody Bellinger pops up. I like this Andrew McCutcheon though, especially since we're gonna be facing Kershaw. Next diamond player, Soto, Vlad Guerrero, Josh Young, Trey Turner. Again, I'll take the guy who hits the lefties the best. Ty Cobb, Matt Kemp, Andrew McCutcheon, Miguel Cabrera, Andrew Jones, Sean Murphy, Josh Young, Joey Gallo. And then in that next slot, uh, Justin Turner is gonna hit in the nine hole. Let's try and win this thing. We're down 12 to 15 against Clayton Kershaw for 3,000 XP, 1,500 stubs, a headliners bundle. Clayton Kershaw, that is who I'm gonna be taking out of the eighth inning program pack, by the way, once I get there. 20 outs, we gotta score four runs. Smoked! We got our first runner on. Josh Young! It's a one run game. Joey Gallo. We're all over Kershaw now. This is gonna be over soon. There it is. Did we get enough? Plenty of outs, I'm testing it. Plenty of outs to work with. I'm testing it, the throw is wide. We are done. Dunzo. For completion, we got a ball in. Two headliners and two headliners. What in the world? So we just unlocked packs from the eighth inning program and we got packs for completing that showdown. Sick. We are now at 236 program stars. We have the conquest map done. The showdown is completed. I did all of the collections that you can do so far, including getting that Tory Hunter done through the program. Now, I just gotta get these missions done. I'm gonna jump into some events games tonight. We're gonna try and get those total bases with Tory Hunter for 20 program stars. We'll see if maybe I can get 10 event wins tonight. That'll be another 15 program stars. Extra base hits with award series cards. That's another 15. So we can get 45 right there just from doing the missions through events tonight. Gonna do that live on Twitch. And you're also gonna get program stars as you play. So at that point, we would be really close to getting done. We might even be done if we do some of the mis daily missions while we're while we're grinding it. We need Marlins pitchers, okay. I might be hopping in and out of event runs to do these uh, missions as we complete those challenges. Anyway, come hang out on Twitch tonight. Link is in the description box down below. Now let's go open those packs that we just unlocked today, and then I'll show you the packs from last night on Twitch. So we got ball and packs, a bunch of headliner packs here. I do have the eighth inning henchman pack as well, but I'm gonna do a pack and play with that because I really wanna try that Ian Anderson out. Three ballins, here we go, three ballins. We got a Nelson Cruz. We're getting closer and closer to stage four in the team affinity, so I'll take all the golds I can get. All the golds I can get. Double gold pack. We got a set four headliner. This has the 92 Johnny Bench. Nothing there. Set 10 has the 94 Miguel Cabrera, who we just used in our showdown run. We got a diamond. I pulled Mickey earlier this year. American League, third baseman. Are you kidding? <laughs> we did it! Oh, man! I'll take that. 94 Miggy. I pulled him out of that headliner pack when those originally went in the game. That's dope. All right, set 18. Paul Molitor. Diamond pull out of our packs. Our eighth inning showdown packs are heat. Set 20 headliner now. Two golds. I'll take that. Justin Turner, Tim Anderson. <laughs> Oh, man, uh, we got these three Angels Affinity Packs here from doing those Tory Hunter moments last night. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely hit that thumbs up. 
down below. I'm now gonna end this video off with the pack opening from last night. I opened packs from the Conquest map on stream last night. It was a lot of fun. Um, we're gonna open up this gold pack here, Brandon Low. All right, we're gonna save the rest. Moving on, if you guys enjoyed, hit the thumbs up down below, subscribe if you are new. Enjoy the packs from last night. These are the packs that I got from the Conquest map. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace. So here's what we got. We got 25 standards, eight ballings. By the way, uh, Broads, cup season. Cup season, baby. Cup season, baby. We got 25 standards, eight ballings, a silver. I got my rank packs, 13 twitch drops. Set four, set five, set seven, set 15, set 20, set 31, set 48. Let me make sure that my title and everything is situated. Packs, 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 packs! Let's do the ball ones first. Our power play makes me vomit. I, we don't have a power play. The opposition commits a penalty and we just take two minutes to get our legs back. You ever notice why Jeru and Vorchek just stand on the... <laughs> just, just, they're just right along the boards, just, just patiently waiting to get that pass across. They're just getting their legs back, that's all. Just chilling. No biggie. Feeling some heat? Same. I'm feeling some heat. George! I'm so happy we don't get Springered anymore. My goodness. Anyone else? Let me bring the volume music down a little bit, too. Flyers should just deny their penalties. I want to be one of those shoot guys at this point. I agree. All right, we got Boba Shed there. We got a silver, Corey Dickerson. Um, let's just burn through the, the ranked seasons packs while we're here. David Hale, legend. Guriel Jr., legend, all-star pack. Joey Wendell, Delaware's finest. Wild card. Drew doesn't try and play anything like Ovechkin. He just happens to be in that same position, but he doesn't he doesn't play anything like Ovechkin. 13 Twitch drop packs. I want to get something from one of these Twitch drop packs so bad. I want to get a diamond from my own Twitch drop so bad. Seven more. Come on. Chat, let me hear it. Who'd you get out of Twitch drop packs today? Anybody get anything good? Feeling another quick flip trout? I'm not gonna quick flip any diamonds tonight. I'm gonna cherish whatever diamonds we get if we get them. Three more. Again, anyone just joined in stream, these are all, we're about to open all of the conquest packs that I guess just got. I finished the eighth inning conquest map tonight. 17 hidden packs. I got nothing out of the Twitch drops. Two gold packs. Jeff McNeil. We got a set four headliner pack. Nothing there. Kike Hernandez, set five headliner pack. Switch hitter, National League, Catel Marte. Shortstop, switch hitter, National League. We got the awards player. We actually got him. Let's go. I'll take that. <laughs> I usually get live series diamonds out of my headliners. Let's go. We'll slide that in the inventory. Set seven has Vita Blue. Let's go. That's amazing. All right, two set 15s. These have the Cy Young. I pull Cy Young all the time. He's my least favorite headliner. I pull him out of standard packs on a regular basis. Dylan Bundy, set 20. Matt Kemp, feed me Matt Kemp. Set 31, Dylan Carlson. I don't even know if I have him in my inventory. If I don't, I still don't. Set 48. All right, classic stadium pack. There's a couple thousand stubs, nothing crazy. Uh, gear up diamond pack. 
I don't have those cleats, but you got to go with the most expensive on these. Now, three ducks on a pond pack, and one ducks on a pond elite pack. We need to summon the rare rounds. Summon the rare rounds, and we're going to get an elite round at the end. This is what we came here for. Spam the diamonds in the chat. If you're a subscriber, let me see those blue diamonds. Come on, get the vibes going. Come on, baby. Good start. They're all the same, though. They're all the same. All right, good start there on those. Can we do that two more times? It doesn't even really matter, though. You're only getting 1K more. Um, doesn't matter. Last but not least, I'll take the extra 1,500 stubs. All right, so we cashed an extra 3,000 stubs um, for getting the rare round twice. Now, can we have that same luck on this elite pack, please? It's a leap pack, please. They're like 5K. They're 6,500, which is an extra 3,000 stubs. And we penny pinch around here. Ducks on a pot of leap pack. I'm out. 